All right, we've shown you how to install the condenser and the point system in a Briggs and Stratton engine. Now I want to show you an alternative to the points and condenser system. Um, oftentimes what you can do, um, if you don't care about what's underneath here, you can cut these wires off right here and then take this off and get rid of it. But what I'd like to show you first of all, because I like to hang on to my points and condensers in case I have something else that needs it, take the cover off. Take the condenser out. This is the old coil. We'll take that off, set that aside. Now the point system here, as we knew as we learned in a previous video, there's a plunger in here. And um, what's can, what can happen if you uh, change this over and take all of this out is oil could come out through that hole. So if you're going to keep this in there, go ahead, cover this up, and put it away, or take this all off, pull that out of the hole, and plug that up with something. I'm going to plug it up with the... Uh, Forma gasket, non hardening Forma gasket sealant. But for now, I'm just going to leave that in there. Cover that back up. Also we want to fill in this hole where the wires were, fill that in as well with the form of gasket sealant, seal this up. And then what I have here, this one's used but it's functioning, this is a magnetron coil. As you'll notice there are no other wires coming off of it, there is a, 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 um, a tongue here that you can put a kill switch to, but for now just showing it to you here, these new magnetron coils were made by Briggs and Stratton uh, in about 1982 or 1983 and they no longer require the points and condenser system. So putting that in place and now that's all there is to it. Take off the old one, maybe cut those wires, grab yourself a new magnetron coil bolted in place and now I'll show you uh, in the next video how to put the flywheel back on and how to space this out.